Welcome to our Divine Light Healing Circle. Today it is about your strengths and your power to calm things down, balance things out, and of course about the Lion's Gate from August 8, 8-8, eight, eight, frequency of 888. Eight, eight. We are operating with a high frequency in the background, which you might not hear at this time, but it is there to support you in your inner journey. It's uh, sponsored by FLFE, Focus Life Force Energy. And today we are accepting our strengths and we are bringing in aspects which we need to come forward in the upcoming time. Sometimes also letting go. So without further ado, we're closing our eyes and breathe out stress. Any energy which bothers you can leave through your feet right now while you're bringing in gold sparkling frequency with sparkles in the color frequency you need which energizes you the most. Gold with colors sparkles flow from the universal oneness into the top of your head, into every single cell of your brain, eyes, nose, mouth, throat, and neck, shoulders, arms, hands, and out of the fingertips. Gold with supportive colored sparkles flow into your spine and muscle structure in the back, into the heart and chest opening both wide, into the solar plexus to make it more radiant, into your whole digestive system, into the hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through the feet into the ground like wolves. And those wonderful gold sparkling light also flows all the way down into Mother Earth, nourishing her too. And this nourishing energy flows further from our heart into our aura, gold and colored sparkles smoothing over all energy holes, smoothing over all energy rifts in our auric field. And then we are sending it today from our heart, from today to yesterday and the day before, all the way down to the time you, we were born golden sparkling light with the color sparkles what you need for your life to be joyful and successful and healed the most. With this color sparkles in the gold, you're energizing that which is depleted and you're transmuting and transforming that which needs energized to have more of. So the gold is the carrier. The soul frequency is the carrier of that particular light sparkling energizing frequency all the way down to the time you were born and maybe even up to the time you decided to come here when you didn't know how difficult it might be. And it's this beautiful root energy, like a stream of gold, flows into your past. A lot of feeder roots go into a lot of different scenarios in your life where you needed that gold energy, that connection to source that connection to your higher self and the colored sparkles give you that equilibrium you needed to stay in balance. And when you're around the time of your birth, you're sending the gold to your parents whether you knew them or not, whether you like them or not, 
he sent it to your father and your father's lineage. He sent it to your mother and your mother's lineage. You send it all the way back to source, that golden light. The golden light comes from source into you and through your past now goes back to source, almost like a gift in honor of source and all the experience of all the generations who came before you, who had experience in a life. A life which gave you life later on so that you could be born, honoring everyone before you. And the colored sparkles in the gold will also bring equilibrium to those who walked the path before you, your ancestors getting nurtured, liberated, and balanced. And this light might flow for quite a while. So we now coming back to the now with our focus, while the gold shimmering spark sparkling light still flows all the way to source back through us as a gate and then through our timeline to the birth and there through the parents and the whole ancestry lineage. As this energy flows, more light is given to you, more frequency of light is given to you, and more flows also into Mother Earth. We are grateful to Mother Earth of existing on her, supporting us, nurturing us, giving us food and shelter, the foundational things of nourishment. And for our upcoming healing, we also invite in our guiding ones and guardians, personal angels, anyone who wants to support us on the upcoming journey. You might feel your helpers on the right and your helpers on the left the ones who back you up and the ones who shield you, the ones who support you and protect you all around you. Also beings from higher realms, specifically the ones who want to reach through the lion's gate to lift us up to higher understanding, higher manifestation, higher healing, and higher wisdom. That said, you take a deep breath, and with the out breath, you allow yourself to drift up with your awareness and your consciousness drifting up along the golden strand out of your body further and higher up. It is easily and naturally done just to let go of the physical form and put your awareness along the golden strand, floating up along the golden strand higher and higher. And before you know it, you can see Mother Earth from above. And you see how beautiful she is. Teeming with life. And love. But we are going a little bit further and higher up. 
in the, into the constellation of Leo, which is today in alignment with Sirius, with its moons, Sirius A and B, which create a suction between a black and a white hole, which circle around each other like a double helix circles around it itself. And as you're uplifted, easily, gently, and naturally, through the portal of the lion's gate, you might see a big lion. Look at the lion and the star above the lion's head. How does this lion make you feel? When you look at it from a distance, And in a minute, please don't be shocked, but you will hear your lion roar. It might get a little loud, so brace yourself for the power of your lion. As the energy merges with you, and in this powerful merger, with the vibration rate of your lion in the lion's gate and the star above, you can draw things to you or you can expel things in a very powerful way. Feel the lion. Feel the power he or she has. Tame your lion. Befriend your lion. Okay. 
Breathe the energy of the lion into you and observe your reactions. Did you put the lion in a cage? Were you riding on your lion? Were you merging with your lion? Were you riding your lion to the gate and up on a wild ride? Were you cowering in front of your lion out of fear? Were you happy when the lion's roar was over because it was too much? Observe within yourself what the lion's energy did to you or what you did with the lion. The lion is your own strength. So did you put it in a cage? Were you afraid of it? Could you manage it and ride it? Make yourself aware. Now we are going into the star above the lion. This blinking star beckons us to come. The star in itself is a gateway. Sirius. Sirius is a way station and many souls stopped by there before they incarnated on earth. Now we use Sirius as a way station to go further and higher up with new strengths and with our new powerful friend. If you may, I would like you now take your energetic lion and gallop or ride or float through the beckoning, shimmering stargate. Float through. It brings you to a new planetary system and as our directive is today healing, it will bring you and all of us to a new healing planet. In this healing planet, we have been there already twice or three times. We have based in the golden light ocean. We have been drinking of the living well water of the streams of this planet. This is the direction. And now some light beings already draw us in and guide our flight to that healing planet. This healing planet has a beautiful sacred garden with a lot of healing plants and waters. And I say water, it might not be water. I should better say healing elixir. And to this healing garden, all the people on our list are brought whether they are cancer patients, autoimmune patients, lost loved ones in grief, lost possessions, have nothing in this earth anymore except themselves and their lives. People who have been de 
is placed by fires or other difficult scenarios. Anyone who needs nourishment from our list, everyone who needs balancing from our list, including ourselves now, arrive at the gates of the Garden of Healing. And beautiful light beings greet each and every one. And even other power animals might join in to do healing work for us today. I see many power animals, mighty ones, who lay besides fountains or flower beds or herb beds. There might be also a meadow with fireflies or what we would say looks like fireflies, but it's actually these nanites who have God consciousness to repair things which are in imbalance. So utilize a spot which draws you in, in this garden of healing. And one by one, our helpers bring in also the people from the list. And everyone finds their best place. And from the many fountains, with the many healing elixirs, you can drink or wash your body from this easement. Or find a quiet place to meditate and go further and higher up. Whatever you need. Healing is given where it is asked. So ask for that what you need. Whether it's financially emotional, or other enrichments, whether it's meaningful connections or detanglement from this easing situations so that one can live in love, ease and grace. And I'm told the energy is going to accelerate now further. So brace yourself for another energy swirl. If you may be grounded so that you can receive more energy in your physical body and can widen in the energy stream, hold more. Every cell in your physical body, every layer in your emotional body, any layer of your mental body and spirit body, ether body, is now repaired, balanced, fixed. brought back into equilibrium of wholeness and oneness. Pay attention now what images might arise. Maybe you see yourself as a baby or in the womb. Maybe you see yourself in other lifetimes, strong, 
whatever it is what you might see, pay attention. It might be important for you. And give a hint to a key for healing. Take a moment to absorb all that you can get from this healing place. Your inhale, all that you need. And you let go of all that you don't need anymore. This is unnecessary entanglements resentments, resistances to live. Whether it's a little nano, it's working with you, power animals, or very powerful light beings. This is your time to receive. Open yourself up to receive bliss, happiness, joy, and love. And you're bringing all the goodness into you, into your being. And so do the people on our list. They absorb the nurturing frequencies, the balancing frequencies, the equilibrium bringing frequencies. And so slowly and steadily already, the helpers bring the people on the list back to their physical homes, their bodies. We, on the other hand, understand the fullness. And like Santa Claus with a huge bag full of gifts, we slowly gather those gifts into our energy fields because some of them we will disperse in the upcoming weeks to people around us 
Not all of the gifts we receive today might be ours. And we do not have to consciously know when it flows out of us, these gifts. But these energies are packed into our energy field to be dispersed on Mother Earth to our fellow human experiencers, fellow animal experiencers, and planet life. There are some very particular beings on the ceiling planet who will visit tonight and have a visitation in your dream. They will bring you up back and to explore further options on your life's path. Some of you have designated your life to a path of service and a path of healing. But they're telling me that everyone is welcome at any time to absorb healing and be nurtured. But for now, we are packing our bags, our energy bags, filling our energies up one last time to the brim and coming back slowly after saying our goodbyes in direction towards Earth. If you might like, you can again ride or float on your strengths or the strengths of your lion. And this time we come again the way we flew up through the lion's gate today through the stargate of Sirius, the lion's gate. And then we come further down, closer to our solar system, Earth, passing by the sun and moon, and slowly and steadily sinking closer towards Earth and our body. Our energy field is wide and expanded, but we now slowly fold it in like a butterfly folds its wings, or a lotus flower folds its petals at night. You're folding your energy flower in to a comfortable place for Earth's atmosphere and slowly and steadily floating homeward. Don't be surprised if an image, energy image of a lion will follow you for the next few days. This energy of power, your inner power will stay with you. And if you were one of the ones who were afraid of their inner power, trembling before their inner power, Work with it, tame it, absorb it, grow with it. 
But for now, we are bringing our energies in slowly and steadily. Breathe yourself back into the body and feel your feet. Feel your body. Feel your heart beating in your body. And click back in to your physical form. Be excited. What is going to happen in the upcoming week? And also be surprised about the gifts you give to others. Till next time.